controversy is swirling around a country singing contestant on America's Got Talent who claimed that he was injured by a grenade while fighting in Afghanistan. But the Army says his war story never happened, and while he may have talent, he now has an awful lot of explaining to do. Tonight, our new ABC News colleague, Amy Robach, brings us the latest. We're delighted to welcome her to Nightline for the very first time. If tomorrow never comes... It was a dramatic fall from grace from instant reality star... Wow! How's it feel, man? Oh my God, it's amazing. <laughs> ...to ashamed and confused... It's the truth that I truly think is real. It was just earlier this week when Sergeant Timothy Poe was all smiles. Uh, I, I, I'm doing well, thank you. Winning the hearts of Americans uh, San, by telling his touching tale, a wounded soldier left with an audible scar. I had got hit by, by a grenade in Afghanistan and, and it, it broke, broke my back and gave me a brain injury, so, so that's the reason why I stu stutter a little bit. Poe went on to say singing is the only time he doesn't stutter. Would she ever down the way I feel about her in my heart? Wow. <laughs> wow. Everything about you is amazing. Some of Sergeant Poe's fellow soldiers were also amazed, not because of Poe's singing, but because of his story. They say it did not happen and contacted Mark Seavey with the American Legion, who hunts down false military claims. It was absolutely unbelievable from the first second I saw it. Seavey investigated, and the National Guard confirmed that Sergeant Poe's military records did not show he was injured by a grenade in Afghanistan, where he served for just one month, from July to August of 2009. Today, Poe released a military document showing he suffers from an injury or disease received in the line of duty, but there was nothing specific about the cause. CV also noticed this photo used in Sergeant Poe's story wasn't actually a picture of Poe, but of another soldier, Army Staff Sergeant Norman Bone. We spoke to Sergeant Bone earlier tonight. If somebody's going to lie about what they have done, in the military, that disrespects anybody and everybody who has ever put a uniform on to defend our country. Gonna be enough to last. Fremantle if Media, who produces America's Got Talent, responded with this statement. We sincerely apologize to U.S. Army Staff Sergeant Norman Bone for using a photo of him in our story on Tim Poe. It was supplied to us by Tim and used on the show in good faith. It has now been removed and will not be used again. It's the same picture Poe gave our ABC affiliate WFAA in Dallas. His fiance says that was just a mistake. It was, it was just a complete mix up and he is totally, totally, totally sorry about that. But Poe also told WFAA he was shot and injured in Iraq in 2005. In the firefight, I, I took a bullet in, in the leg. The National Guard said Sergeant Poe was never even deployed to Iraq. I feel like I'm going crazy. Now Poe is desperate to explain the unexplainable. For everyone to, to, to jump on a bandwagon and say it's such horrible things and, 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 and threaten family and, and, and things like that. It's horrible because I did serve my country the best that I knew how. In another bizarre apparent lie, Sergeant Poe told the America's Got Talent judges on stage he never sang before his brain injury. I, I had, didn't know I could really sing until um, my speech pathologist told me that, uh, to, to, to help my stutter. She said to sing in the shower, S so that's, that's what I did. But ABC News has learned that Poe had been singing for years before his deployment to Afghanistan, even singing in the band Crawl Space. I do want to thank you for your service in, in yes. Afghanistan. I, I don't know what to say to a hero like you. <laughs> this week, America's Got Talent judge Howard Stern vented on his radio show. This lie is so wrong on so many levels. This really sickens me. And according to Mark Seavey, 
Poe's story does real damage to true heroes serving our country. When people that are civilians see this man get up there and tell this heart-wrenching story and they cry, it taps into something. So I think in that way it detracts from all of us that actually served. For Nightline, I'm Amy Robach in New York.